ओके हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर वी आर डिफाइनिंग द न्यूटन्स सेकेंड लो एंड वी हैव डिफाइंड इट सो नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट फोर्स क्वांटिटी ऑफ वन न्यूटन फोर्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू न्यूटन्स सेकेंड लो एफ इट इज इक्वल टू एम एंड ए इज एक्सेलरेशन सो नाउ इफ एम इक्वल टू वन के जी एंड एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ दैट पार्टिकल इट इज सपोज इट इज लाइट वन मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर ओके नाउ देन एफ इज वी वॉट वन इंटू वन सिंपली वन न्यूटन सो वन न्यूटन फोर्स विल बी डिफाइंड एज इफ द if a body of mass 1 kg is moving with the acceleration of 1 meter per second square then the force required to move the body with this acceleration is 1 newton okay so this is the simple definition now the other unit of this force simply this is the newton unit is in si system newton okay on the to honor the scientist newtons okay uh, this is cgs unit and it is equivalent to obviously kg into meter per second square and the other unit of this is dyne uh, simply represented as d and uh, this will be in cgs system okay so this will be defined as when the particle is moving with the acceleration of 1 cm per second square so when a is equal to 1 cm per second square then if mass of the object is 1 gram then the force required to move with this acceleration to this object will be 1 dyne okay next now we will see the momentum uh, which we have defined in newton's uh, second law as we have defined the newton's second law we started with the momentum that p is equal to momentum is equal to m and v okay it it is simply the product of mass and velocity and it shows the combined effect of mass and velocity now the unit of this is kg into meter per second okay and now we will define the momentum conservation law according to this law when simply if I, we can say according to newton's second law okay newton's according to second law when f is simply proportional to delta p by delta t or f is equal to delta p by delta t this is the net force applied on the body okay when net force is zero means f net or simply f is equal to zero so delta p over delta t will be equal to zero it means delta p is zero it means p momentum of the system is constant okay it means initial momentum of the system and this is equal to final momentum of the system if you can see the example of this then now suppose a uh, suppose this is a gun and a bullet is fired from this gun uh gun's mass is m and the bullet's mass is small m now the velocity of bullet is let small v then what is the recoiling speed of this gun we we know that when the bullet is fired then there is a initially a jerk on the shoulder of uh, to the on the shoulder of the man who is firing the bullet so what is the speed of this gun then we will find this by the momentum conservation law obviously when the gun is obviously when the bullet is fired bullet moves due to internal force of this system system is what this is the system gun and bullet 
दीज आर ए दिस इज ए सिस्टम सो वेन द बुलेट इज वेन द बुलेट इज फायर बुलेट मूव ड्यू टू द इंटरनल फोर्स obviously uh, there is may be confusion that the man who is triggering the gun that may be the external force but because the man is just triggering he is not providing the bullet directly the speed this is the gun's mechanism which is which is providing the speed to the bullet so in that case there will be only internal force on the bullet so external force on the bullet in this system will be zero okay so delta p by delta t will be zero it means delta p is zero it means p is constant so p initial should be equal to p final it means initially gun is in rest and bullet is in also rest so this initial moment of the system okay this is what initial moment of system p initial this should be equal to the final moment final moment the let gun is moving with the velocity minus v minus v let the direction of the bullet is positive direction okay this direction is positive then let the gun's speed is v so v will be minus v okay and let m v so by using this is the final moment of the momentum of the system now using this equation we can find v is equal to simply m v by m this is the recoiling speed of the gun now we will come on to the impulse now we will define the impulse when the force is acting on any body then the product of the force and the interval during which the force is applied is called as impulse so simply i impulse will be equal to this is force multiplied by time interval okay we know that force is vector quantity so impulse is also a vector quantity if we can find the unit of this then unit of impulse will be force in newton and time in seconds so newton into second okay if we can uh, again define this law then i f may be written as delta p over delta t okay and multiplied by delta t obviously delta t to delta t cancel out so i is equal to delta p it means it means impulse is just the magnitude of impulse is equal to the change in the momentum of the system so so impulse would magnitude of impulse would be equal to net change in momentum okay now we are going to define and this uh, and this theorem the impulse and momentum relation this is called momentum impulse theorem now uh, we can again modify the second law by second law f is equal to delta p by delta t when delta t is small okay means we are taking only a short interval of time in that case it can be written as dp by dt means the differentiation of momentum with respect to time now we can write is it mv now it is written as first of all m is constant means when the mass is not changing only velocity is changing then it can be written as m dv by dt and when the velocity is not changing but the mass is changing then v tm by dt but in the case when the in the system mass and velocity both are changing then the force will be equal to simply this by this formula okay this is the most general formula of the force in general cases what we do we just uh, the value of mass is taken is constant so in that case we just apply this first part only but it may be the overall this formula okay